Hello lovely people, today's reading is on messages from your spirit guides. If you were drawn to this reading, um, there may be a messages here for you. You can pick from pile one, pile two or pile three. There uh, is a lovely rose quartz heart for pile one people. An agate moon for pile two and seraphonite for pile three. So choose your pile based on crystal, on card number, um, or whatever method you like, and you can skip ahead to your reading. The shuffles will be at the start of each reading, but you can skip ahead if you like, and I'll see you there. Thanks. Hello, Pile One people. Okay, going to get straight into your reading here. I'm going to put your lovely rose quartz heart over to the side. And I'm going to separate your oracle cards from your tarot cards. Okay, and let's have a look at what your guides would like to share with you today. People who picked pile one. Guides. Okay, Ace of Pentacles. Eight of Swords, the Emperor, the Sun, Five of Swords, and Temperance. Okay, straight up, I'm feeling very strongly that for a lot of people who chose Pile 1, you're feeling a lot of restriction in your everyday life, um, in the everyday humdrum TikTok world, that you're, you know, that feeling of going to work, coming home, um, having dinner, cooking dinner, you know, rinse, repeat, do it again, all the, the same sort of thing. I'm feeling that very much with this emperor, that this is the restrictive energy that you're feeling around you and that your guides are calling on you to have a lot more balance in your life, okay? I feel like over here with the uh, five of swords that your guides are telling me that you've worked hard to get where you are, that you've had to put in a lot of effort and you've had to make a lot of sacrifices, okay? And this can be um, career-wise, but it can also be in general, in your life, in other areas as well. And that you have achieved a high level, or you've attained a lot of things that you want to attain and achieved a lot that you, of goals that you want to, wanted to achieve. But through doing so, there's been some a sacrifice of the balance here and that as a consequence, you're feeling uh, a sense of restriction. Your guides are telling you that it's time to redress that and to find this balance here and release that part of yourself or, or find get back in touch with that part of yourself that has fun because the... The material things that you have in your life can be represented through this Ace of Pentacles. And I do feel like for a lot of you, you you've done a lot of that. You've gotten there. You've I'm not saying that you've completed all your goals necessarily. For some of you, you will have. But, you know, a lot of you have achieved a lot in Pile 1. And Spirit's telling you, your guides are telling you, that this part is the part that you you need to focus on now you, the balance okay so bringing in that fun because that is that there's a lot of wealth in that okay and there's a lot of that's a something really wonderful in your life to be able to um engage that inner child that's what it is they're telling you to rebalance and to bring in that inner child and that all this hard work and all this sacrifice that you've had to do they're recognizing it they, re they recognise that you've given up a lot and that it hasn't been easy for you. And it's not like you said, hey, I, I want to be all work, no play. It's not like that at all. But it's just that you, you've had to do that for a lot of you to get to where you're at. And I do feel also with this temperance, I'm being drawn very much to um, uh, her head area. And I feel that for a lot of you, your downtime is still intellectual so look i'm a, a book reader myself so i understand that so the escape for you may be through books or reading or even technology or things like that i do feel that your guides are telling you 
now it's time to reconnect with nature because that is where you're going to find this balance is by stepping out in nature and that's where you're going to connect with this um, inner child part of yourself and this fun fun side that you you do have and I get a lot of uh, okay Aries and Sagittarian energy through here I'm also feeling some earth energy so there may be a lot of uh, fire signs who were drawn to pile one or earth signs so our, our Leo Sagittarius Aries um, Taurus Capricorn or Virgo um, that you may be one of those signs but it's also interesting that the uh, energy of the fire signs is really highlighted for me through these cards so I mean we do have some air coming through the center here but I feel that's more like the the stress and the, the the entrapment that some of you are feeling the feeling of being sort of locked in like not maybe having enough time to release or even maybe for some of you having lost that ability to know how to uh, unwind really easily you know you when you get sort of so used to being in that heightened state of um, doing things, you know, doing, 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 it's easy to sometimes forget that we're human beings, you know, that, that whole we're human beings, not human doings. So although we need to do at times, it's we also need to be at times. And I feel that for you, that's going to be a real key. I'm just going to have a look here. Okay. All right. Transmission. So definitely, I'm feeling here with the transmission, I'm getting a lot of, um, again, these message from your guides that they're trying to connect with you. And transmission to me is about uh, messages, getting things through from one point to another point. And I'm feeling uh, that the moon's here. So for some of you, you may even be having dreams where you're, and this sounds funny, but you may be having dreams where you're being active or um, letting out that fun side of yourself through your dreams uh, if you remember them and that may be how you're expressing this part of yourself it could be through your dreams but it's actually you're receiving messages and nudges to to get out there and um, connect connect with that side of yourself okay nature okay so definitely nature and um, what was I going to say for there look that's uh, that's it that's that's what it's reminding me of as soon as I saw it I'm thinking it reminded me of one of the cards that here look nature the pathway all right so just getting out in nature and connecting with um you know connecting with that part of yourself it's something I feel like for a lot of you that this may have been something you did when you were younger and you know it's about that um, fascination just with the little things when you get out in nature you can look at uh, you know a, a rock that's got something special about it or some really interesting little bug that you see or something like that but I feel for for nature um, that is a message to you that through being out in nature it will allow you to have these transmissions not just through the dream state not just through daydreams even it will be it'll bring it into your reality so yeah that's yeah all right so that's a real big message for you from your guides part one learning okay so this is interesting because I did mention earlier that I felt that a lot of you in pile one had achieved a lot and had to make sacrifices. So I, I feel for a lot of you, you've done a lot of uh, book learning, you know, and I know everything's not in written books now um, necessarily, but I do feel you have. But this card here to me is saying you've, you've done that, but look at all the learning to be had out here. In, and once again, it's a pathway, just like this is a pathway. So, I mean, this path is a lot darker, so maybe that's in the beginning, but as you continue down this pathway, you've got this radiant light, and I feel that's your guides connecting with you, and that's these transmissions coming through. These transmissions coming through on this pathway, where this learning that comes to you, and it's a, it's a learning that's not a, a formal learning, but it's something that uh, your guides are trying to connect with you and send you messages. And I feel a lot of you know that. I feel that a lot of you are sensing that. So again, that's confirmation that you're going to connect with your guides best when you're out there and you're out in nature. And you know, with this sun card, 
often um, when, when you talk about people being playful or getting in touch with their inner child, you know, when we hear that, we think about, you know, going out with a group of people and, I don't know, splashing around at the beach or whatever it is, you know, just doing this active sort of really social thing. But it doesn't even have to be that. It's about rediscovering the magic in the everyday, you know, and we can do that alone. We, we don't have to wait for people or we can do it with people, whatever you like. But for me, this is whatever it is, it needs to be with you connecting with the earth. Okay, and that that's where it comes in awareness okay so a lot of you are very aware and um, that's what i felt a lot of you are very aware that your guides are trying to connect with you so um either you've had dreams or you've had some sort of nudges and you feel that they're trying to get you to make some sort of change or communicate with you and others of you have also put out the call i feel to your guides because this woman here is sending out a prayer, you know, she's asking out to the universe um, and calling on, on connection and help or what whatever she's calling on and it'll be personal to each of you, but you're calling and asking for your guides um, to connect, I do feel, because this reading is about your guides, what their messages are for you and I feel you're calling on a deeper connection, you know they're there, you have an awareness, okay, and they're saying, we're trying to get the messages through we just need the quiet because i feel a lot of you have had these really busy and um high demand high demand lives you know and it doesn't have to be working out the side the home people can have some of the busiest people i know are caring for families or friends or you know just whatever volunteering all sorts of work you know some people are in paid employment who are crazy busy but it doesn't matter what your particular situation is but spirit is recognizing that you are um, incredibly uh, have reached an incredibly uh, high level with um, the material plane and they want to connect with you your guides want to connect with you okay and you you know that okay let's have a look dramatic shift so definitely and you know this this deck these two cards here are tree cards so i'm not surprised to see trees in them but um but dramatic shift i do feel that they're doing this will bring about a dramatic shift and that you'll feel this this happen this transmission more strongly so if you're someone who's trying to develop your intuition you're someone who maybe um you may do it through uh, any means cards meditation whatever um or, or just you know through uh, you know calling and and just trusting yourself more you know having more trust in your own feelings and things like that you're going to find a dramatic shift once you start reconnecting with this side of yourself definitely guide okay i love that for this so guide definitely and it's interesting that it has a guide not guides um, I, I am reading on this, this particular whole reading is on what your guides message is for you but I have felt through this whole reading even though I have referred to guides that you have one particularly strong guide that's wanting to connect with you particularly when you've got transmission and I do feel with this tree branching up like this um, with it like an embrace that you have one guide who is particularly uh, wanting to connect with you okay and um, and you know these branches look so gentle and soft to me that I feel it's a soft a subtle energy so unless there's a lot of peace and a lot of um, tranquility around you it may be hard for you to hear what this guide the, the messages of this guide um, coming through and depending on how they transmit to you they can come through as feelings they can come through as uh, some people are clairsentient it doesn't matter but this suggests to me that you already uh, know that there you already have had some experiences I feel pile one and that you have a, an awareness that they're there and that they're, they, they, they're sorry that their presence is around you so yeah, I love that. So one guide in particular that really wants to connect in with you and you're being asked to reconnect with that uh, inner child, okay, and bring a little bit more balance in with this uh, work life because 
you know, you've done so much and I feel that you do a lot for other people and it's now time for you to have a little bit uh, of balance for yourself and to, to start feeling more connected to what you know is within you, okay? Because there is, um, I feel like there's a real ability to tune in to, to um, your spirit guides. Okay, thank you for listening, part one, and uh, please subscribe if you enjoyed the reading and help me grow the channel, and I will see you next time, hopefully. Hi, pile two. Okay, go and get straight into your reading. I'm going to pop your beautiful <laughs> avocado. Had an absolute a uh, uh, druzy agate. That's what it was. I had an absolute blank on what that crystal was there for a moment. I'm going to pop your crystal over there, the moon, and I'm going to separate your um, oracle cards out from your tarot cards, and let's have a look. Okay, pile two. What does your spirit guides want to tell you? Pile two spirit cards. I'm just going to move your cards over here a bit. All right. Pile two. The message that's coming through here for me with your cards from your guides is for a lot of you who chose pile two, you're learning to protect yourself from other people's words, okay? You're learning to build boundaries and that you found yourself in the past that you've been quite hurt by the way people have treated you um, and spoken to you. Um, you know, the comments, maybe you felt judged. That's what I'm getting here, particularly with the Hierophant. I know the Hierophant, um, is a card um, it doesn't always represent that uh, what I'm saying but I'm feeling here particularly with his eye and the lantern here and it's passing right through the devil with that king of swords at the top I'm feeling that for a lot of you you've had people in your life who have been very judgmental of the things that you've done and offered their opinions when you haven't necessarily wanted them and that you felt that you've been not respected I feel in a way not not had your not had your autonomy respected you know your individual right to make your own choices and to not have to answer to people about things that affect you and only you yeah I'm feeling that and I feel that it's caused you a lot of grief because you know what I'm feeling through that your guides are giving here is with this symbol here of, of Libra and I know it's on the King of Swords so it's connected to this card but I'm feeling that you're a person who tries to keep your values and your opinions close to your heart so if you see someone who's doing something that isn't the way you would do it you wouldn't be the sort, sort to go up and tell them hey I don't think you should do that or why are you behaving the way you are or you know to sort of force yourself on them I feel that you're sort of a you know um, what do they call it? a live and let live person and that the fact that others haven't necessarily been like that with you throughout your life has caused you a lot of anguish for, and for some of you it's caused you to maybe go over the comments to go uh, to repeat in your mind the things that they've said and to become quite upset about it and your guides are recognizing that you are now coming to a point where you see that this is not a not a productive for you and that you're starting to step out now into a different way of looking at things to see that it's more important what you think about how the things you do and it's more important about what you think about you you know and you're recognizing that you've always known it but you're now going within and starting to value your opinion more highly than other people's opinion on you, on what you do and how you live your life. So you're putting your values and centering yourself around your own values, you know. And it's not saying that you're making yourself, you know, putting yourself above people. That's not what it's about. It's about recognizing your worth and that you're not letting people um, people's opinions 
let you let you suffer cause you self-doubt that's what it is not letting them cause you self-doubt and stepping out of that zone where you felt restricted and bound by what other people want of you and how other people see you and what other people think you should do i'm getting that very strong feeling here with that devil and that now you're wanting to break out of that and your guides are right behind you and they're saying yes yes and yes they're encouraging you they're, they're encouraging you not to take on board um in negativity okay from other people and they're encouraging you to trust your own your own insight and your own intuition and guidance okay your own in, inner radar you know and i really feel that this is the big message coming through here so you've got you've got the hermit down here and i I feel that sometimes because people have uh, been so uh, opinionated, maybe, opinionated with, with you at times, that this has caused you to retreat a little bit into yourself, okay? And that now, rather than just retreat in the way of, okay, well, I'll just sort of hide a little bit of myself, now you're starting to recognise that, you know, you can shine you can shine and it doesn't matter what they say they can't take your glow away you know they can't they can't stop you shining and you can still step out and um take that take look it's tentative steps they're not running they're not leaping but they're keeping the balance okay so they're not this person here is not um you know running out into this new way of doing things and upturning their whole world but they're taking steps out into new ways there's still the snake here over on the side so there, there may be people who are jealous of your ability and your strength to do that but i feel that you're really trusting here on your inner inner guidance so your guides are right behind you there and um telling you yes you're on the right path you know i think they're giving you the nudge to do this i really feel they're giving you the nudge cleanse yeah so it that's it it's about cleansing any negativity out of your life and you're recognizing too i feel a lot of you that's what it is too a lot of you are um, working with affirmations and the power of positive uh, thought forms and um, just how you change a vibration when you're around people who maybe you find a bit draining or you find they're they sort of always want to be negative about whatever you, it is you bring up you're finding ways of cleansing your energy and it can just be about putting up that sort of uh, psychological barrier but it can also be you know white lighting or whatever works for you just sort of putting up that beautiful egg of white light around you so this negative energy can't penetrate and you're saying no I trust me I know that I know what's best for me okay and holding to that you don't want to live with this not being able to do the things you want or just doing just being there for everyone else's um sake you know it's it hasn't served you well other people's opinions i don't feel and i feel that you are recognizing that and that you're look your delight yeah you enjoy i think you're enjoying the process of really stepping into um stepping into doing the things that you wanted to do so for some of you you're taking on new uh doing something really new and i feel your guides the the message they're sending through to you is keep doing it because therein lies your happiness keep keep doing this keep trusting in yourself because you're going to be delighted i mean that's not a word i would usually use but you're going to find delight in um in having faith in yourself and being cleansed of other people's energy so it's your own energy that is going to feel best to you okay your own energy that's coming through very strong your guides are sending that message very strong so breakthrough this is a big change for you so for some people who are listening they will have come from a place maybe where this has been an ongoing um, issue for them and maybe they've found people haven't listened to them or they've been to maybe uh, you know just uh, taken for granted a bit you know and that people feel they can just tell you what to do and expect you to be there and not put your and put your needs last but that's not not happening okay opportunity yeah there are going to be opportunities for you um, that open up i feel as a consequence of of this energy that you've you're embracing this new energy so it's a 
it's really powerful. I can feel that for you, the people that picked pile two, this feels like a big change and a big shift in the energy that they've um, had. And it's because you're living in your own energy and your guides have been pushing you to, to embrace your energy and to cleanse away other people's energy. And it might have even gotten to the point where you just got fed up with it. You know, you just got fed up with it. Harmony, yeah. So <clears throat> for some people, I feel like the reason you hadn't done it sooner, like the reason you'd sort of let these people have their say and not really said anything or gone against it is because you wanted to keep the harmony. But now I feel that you know you can do this and still maintain harmony in your life and that balance. And I love that this um, woman is in that bubble. And remember, I just talked a moment ago, I said, about putting that um, egg of white light well this is like a rainbow light a, a big ball of rainbow light but she's got this white light emanating out of her heart chakra and she's sending all this love out to the world so anyone who is um you know putting judgment on you or maybe coming in with their negative views or oh no that's not going to work why would you do that you know it's not a good idea whatever whatever they're story is i feel that you can just um emit this this love and this um positive energy out to them it's not like you get frustrated or angry so instead of getting that sort of um taking on that sort of devil energy of oh no are they right is it going to fail you know and it's sort of like no it's fine i'm in my bubble it's fine and just putting out those rays of light and knowing that you're you're okay, you're where you're at and they're where they're at and you don't need to let them in that bubble and you can still send them lots of love, okay? And I feel that, that that's what's really bringing you a lot of um, a lot of happiness and joy. <laughs> there we go, joy, happy, say joy, yeah. So that's, I feel it's a whole new way of uh, living and your guides are right behind you. And this is the message that they're bringing to you is, you know, if you're in the beginning and you're only just starting to recognise this that um, this protective bubble is so important for you and this self-love and positive talk and telling yourself every day you know all all the positive things that you you need to hear because you know be your own best friend because this is so important for you at this time and um you know if you're not getting it from from friends or family or the people who you might think might give you the love and support that you want you can give it to yourself because hey your your word is so important and, and precious that it means something so when you're giving that to yourself it it matters okay so i feel your guides are sending that message to you and they're sending you lots and lots of love pile too and I hope that that helped. And if you enjoyed the reading, please do um, subscribe and help me grow the channel. And thank you for listening and lots of love to you all. Thanks. Bye. Okay, pile three. Let's get straight into your cards. I'm going to pop your seraphonite over here. Going to separate your oracle cards to your tarot cards, which are also purple, so just make it easy. Uh, oracle cards. And let's have a look at what your guides would like to share with you today. Pile three. What do your guides like to share with you? Seven of Discs, Eight of Discs, The Empress, Three of Swords, Eight of Swords the star okay all right so there's no denying it pile three here it does seem to me like that for quite a few of you you've been through something quite difficult and some sort of disappointment um, that's happened where you tried hard to manifest something and it didn't work out the way that you thought it would your guides are sending you a very clear message here, okay? We, we see here the hard work that you put into something, the seven of discs, the eight of discs. So whatever it was you tried to create with the empress, okay, the empress, it didn't work out. Something came between you and this manifesting 
and you feel very restricted and perhaps you're feeling like you can't do um, can't achieve this thing like you won't get another shot or you won't um, have another opportunity for, for whatever this was but your guides are telling you that's not true there's hope okay so I'm going to pull some more cards on this uh, star card because you, the main message that's coming through for me here from your guides is that they're acknowledging that you have been through something difficult that you put a lot of uh, work and effort into something and they're acknowledging that and they're also telling you that there is hope and better times ahead with that star card so spirit guides can we have another message please or a couple more cards for our pile three people uh, to elaborate on this star card oh there we go two okay all right so yeah whatever this this situation is whatever this thing is that you tried to manifest here in your life your guides are telling you that it's important for you to um, recognize that don't carry the burden of not having hope okay so I, I feel like they want you to recognize that there is abundance for you abundance in the future and they don't want you to feel beaten that's what it is I don't want you to feel like um, you know whatever it is it's you know not possible for you to have happiness in the future because most certainly it is there is happiness ahead for you and you know they're sending you a lot of love I can feel that like knight of cups we've got page of cups knight of cups so I'm just going to pull the first intention all right yeah so you know what I feel with this intention card is that <laughs> Your guides are t uh, encouraging you to meditate and to um, really act with intention and try and channel your energy in very intentional ways, okay? And try and, uh, if you find yourself getting into a loop where you're feeling like, um, you know, that there's, like, what I feel is I feel that for some of you that you're feeling doors are shut. For you that's what i'm feeling and that they're telling you that a lot of this is they want you to be very intentional about what you send out because it comes back to you okay so it's sending out this energy it's it's not about events going out and coming back to you it's about energy okay so if you're sending out these lots of loving energy and i know it's hard if you're feeling like you know something has not worked out but this is uh to me feeling like very much if you're sending out this positive thoughts and intentional thoughts this will flow back in through funnel back into you okay so being very intentional and guidance all right so i do feel that your guides are telling you that they are guiding you they are with you okay and they're supporting you at the moment but they're also encouraging you to find human guidance if you require it so if you're finding something that you're going through is difficult or you need some answers or some assistance with you know achieving something that you want to get done or whatever it is um, then don't be afraid to to go to people who might be able to help you and ask for guidance but i'm very much feeling also that the the main thing that's coming through here is that your guides are with you okay because there's this swirling energy here and this swirling energy here so i'm feeling like talk to them okay talk to your guides communicate with your guides let them know because you know they're sending love back to you so whatever you're putting out is coming back so it's not just about what you put out thought wise into the world it's about putting just putting out your thoughts to your guides talk to your guides and you know they will send when you need support send that message i need support i'm having a, a not a great day today you know whatever that that is for you um don't be afraid to do that okay the path all right yes yeah i feel that they'll set you on the right path all right i feel and you know i feel that connects very much here to where i said that for some of you you're feeling that the door is shut so maybe you're feeling like uh, if you had uh, something planned out maybe it was i'm going to move to a particular i'm just giving an example here but it could could be many things for many different people but if you were to say to yourself i'm moving to a particular area or i'm going to have this particular relationship with this 
one person and then it all got side railed okay it all got thrown off then you're feeling like you're lost your path okay your guides are telling you to talk to them tell them i'm feeling like i've lost my path i need i need to help which direction do i go what do i do you know and then of course there is um, human guidance of course but your guides here are encouraging you to acknowledge that um you're feeling that way when you're feeling that way and to talk to them okay and the help is always there because you know the, the moon's always there we don't always see it but it's always there okay just like your guides perception yeah and that's right with helping you with perception so i love how the moon's here and i just spoke about the moon and um you know perception is so important because we can have something happen in our life or something can get side rail and not um, go the way that we intended and then one day we can be feeling completely uh, like we've lost our path like I said and the other day we can be feeling wonderful and like we can put out this great intention out into the world and hey I'm just going to do this I'm going to take a new direction or whatever um, so a lot of it is about perception and um, yeah I think that they're just asking you to recognize that and also perceiving them you know like I said to you <clears throat> sorry I'm losing my voice here so for some of you you know maybe a matter of feeling like you haven't had a say in something or feeling like um someone's not listening to you that could be a big <clears throat> big thing yeah that just wasn't happening with the other readings and I'm really I'm losing sorry <clears throat> that's yeah weird but anyway um yeah so but uh, with sorry, I'm just getting sidetracked. With a moon here, with the moon, I feel that they're telling you that when you're feeling like you've lost your path, okay, it, it's sometimes hard for you to perceive the presence of your guides, but they are there, okay. They are always there, always. Okay, fulfillment. Yeah, look, fulfillment's coming for you. Something bigger and better is coming for you. Doors are opening. Doors. I said doors before. Doors are opening, okay? There is something better for you than what is behind you. Whatever was behind you wasn't for you, okay? It just wasn't for you. And there is something so much better. And, and look, this beautiful bird up here that messages, this is your guides. They are going to um, send you little hints. Look, look around you, watch, listen. There are gonna be little hints. If you hear repeating things, you know, people talking about repeating names or things or places, just pay attention because, oh, I, yeah, another bird there. I just noticed that like it just flew in. Like you'd think I would have saw that before, but anyway, just pay attention, angel whispers. So again, yeah, pay attention to these little voices, to these little little cues and um, messages because I feel that the uh, guides are trying to send them through to you but through um, I know it says whispers but I'm feeling um, it could be for some of you like you could hear it as like a message but like a message in your mind or an intuition but I'm feeling for a lot of you it will be through something you actually hear people saying or talking about and you hear it like repeatedly or numbers or things like that and then look look it up look up the meaning of it if you keep seeing a particular animal if you keep seeing a particular um you know number sequence or you keep hearing about a particular place okay try and find out what the significance of that is to you because i feel that's how you'll receive a lot of messages but there are definitely um beautiful times ahead for your path free sorry part three i got interrupted um yes yeah, so as i was saying there's definitely um wonderful much better times ahead for you your guides are telling telling you that very clearly part three and they do want you to listen out and watch out for different signs that they are sending around you so uh, pay attention and um they're sending much love to you okay and so I hope that you enjoyed that reading and if you did, please subscribe and help me grow the channel and thank you for listening, Pile Free. Thanks, bye.